There's no way in the Bible that talks about the end of the world. Um, what people do is they, they mistranslate things. It's talking about the ending of a time, yeah? A cycle. Um, this is what we're saying about the, the, what we call the uh, uh, Aquarian age or the sun cycle. So um, certain beings were allotted the Adamites because the story in the Bible about Adam is about the gravitation of a group of beings called the Adamites, which was 6,000 years ago. Prior to that, there were other gravitations um, like the Flugorods of 8,400 years ago. So the planet, as I said the last time, the planet has been destroyed in certain parts over and over and over again. There was a meteorite shower of 17,250,000 years ago, and there was another one 2,250,000 years ago. Every time these meteorite showers hit, it changes things and some people don't make it. So the, 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 the change that's happening now is that dimensional shift, is that new sun cycle, and not everyone's going to survive it. So. Um, the Bible doesn't talk about, so Book of Revelation talks about the rapture and those 144,000 and people that are going to be saved. But this, a lot of the things that people think are going to happen have already happened. Mm. Because as I said, these books are plagiarized from books that have already taken place. So in Nome, Alaska, um, in 2000, um, 2003, mm. There's a movie actually called The, the Fourth, Fourth Kind, kind that yeah. goes into this, that talks about... Because in Nome, uh, Alaska, it's like six months of the year, it's in darkness, um, and the other six months is, you know, in, in, in daylight. So these extraterrestrials came and they come and they're abducting people for food. And in that movie, it, this is what it's talking about. The movie, it's not even a movie, it's a documentary mm. movie because some of the footage is actually real footage and then they've actually, like... Um, you know, got actors to fill in the gaps. But so this is taking place. Um, and yeah, we've never, no one really says the whole world is going to end. Um, and yeah, in the past, sometimes those who knew what to do, like the last time, the people that survived were the, the Watusis, the, um, the Hindus, and um, who was the other tribes? Obviously us. Mm. Um, the Nagarus. Um, so then when when like the dust cloud was cleared during that whole Genesis period that we spoke about with um with Enki doing the terraforming and clearing the dust cloud, people came back out. So every time a destruction, um like the Noah flood, again, that's not the whole world that was flooded, that was just a particular part of the planet. So this is happening now. And um not everyone's going to be destroyed, but the way you will survive is to raise your consciousness and your vibration and make the dimensional shift. And that's what Wu Sabat is about. The culture of Wu Sabat provides you with that knowledge to help you raise your vibration so you can make it. I mean, in the, in the um, Holy Tablets at the back of the page, it talks about the seven funders, where it talks about the year ending um, 2030, mm. as we know it, the world will end as we know it. Not the planet being destroyed, but this society, this system. And you can see it crashing, you know, it's, 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 cr it's crumbling, man. And the funny thing, when we say the world, that's a really good point, because um, when someone says the world, they might be just talking about their house. Mm. They might be talking about Croydon or Brixton. They might be talking about London. Mm. They might be talking about UK. They might be talking about one continent. They might be talking about the planet. They might be talking about, you know, the galaxies and the cosmos. So when people say the world, you have to really define what you mean by the world because the world, your certain people's world is going to end de depending on what you're defining as your world. And if you're defining your world as the system, that the matrix that you're in, yeah, that's coming to an end. And so if you're purely dependent on the matrix and you're not like getting in tune with nature, you know, getting in tune with higher frequencies and vibration, then yeah, your world will end if there's no jobs, no food, you know, you saw what happened with COVID, how everybody was going crazy. So it depends on what you're calling the world or your world. Our world is going to be here. We're, we're rebuilding, we're, 
you know what I mean? Like just um, embracing this new era called a sun cycle. But unfortunately for some people that can't take the new energy that's coming to the planet, they, they're not going to be able to, to survive the shift. Remember they were talking about back in the days, the Babylon will fall. Mm. So this is it. This is the fall of the Babylon or the new Babylon. Yeah, and again, when people say, because Bible <laughs> and like religious texts is funny because we have to clear it up. Mm. Like there are different um, empires mm. that have been destroyed many times, like the, the Roman Empire, the Greek, Greek Empire. And they say old Babylon was destroyed and then new Babylon will be destroyed. So if you go to like Revelations again, which is talking about the end times, um, Revelation 18 to, you know, you can read three, four. It talks about come out of her, of her, my people, so that you will not partake of their iniquities or their destruction. You know, so uh, a lot of people are trying to go off grid, avoid being caught up in the draconian matrix system where people are going to get chipped and but that's already been going on because you've got um things like um the um what's it called the central um cbdc central bank digital um system that's coming in which is the banking system yeah um where you know they're bringing in what they call a cashless society a lot of people are already carrying mobile phones or smartphones that you use to pay for things and all of that. So a lot of things are changing. AI is coming over now. A lot of people don't know that AI is actually being, being controlled by extraterrestrials. It's extraterrestrials that actually gave us AI. And they, they, their thing is to actually wipe out humanity because they're looking at humanity and seeing that we're poisoning the water, you know what I mean, killing off and, and eating the animals. We don't really show love and respect to, to Mother Nature. And they just want to wipe us out. And as you were saying about the Georgia Stones, they're trying to reduce the population, you know, from what used to be six, seven billion, and people are saying it's nearly eight billion now, to like 500 million. Uh, and, you know, people are talking about certain people like Bill Gates and certain people that are, you know what I mean, helping with that agenda. So if you think about reducing the population from eight billion to 500 million, that's a lot of people that have got to go. So this is a, it is a serious thing. Um, but yeah, you've got to decide and find yourself to be with a community or with people or working uh, in a way to avoid this. And a lot of people are speaking out against, you know what I mean, the um, powers that be in you know, the matrix and so forth.